Sarah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, okay, so my name is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Sarah Simpson from Delaware. Hi, Sarah. Hello. So, <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I just feel like I need to testify about what God has been doing, like specifically this summer. Like, I used to just be like, oh, Christian. Well, okay, so my parents, <laughs> my pa my mom is a prophetess, and then my d my stepdad is a pastor, and then we have our own church in Delaware. So I've always been at church, you know. 12 p.m., I'm at church. 1 p.m., I'm at church. So I'm just like, I'm at church. So anyway, so, yeah. Sometimes I would feel like I need to join every single every single like like if there's a bible study i have to join i have to be on time if there's church service i have to be on time everything i have to be there and it kind of felt like a lot of pressure on me and then cause, especially because i'm the pastor's daughter so i have to yeah so <laughs> so i have to show the other kids who come to the church that you, we need to model me and all this stuff but i'm not perfect but Anyway, so I just want to thank God for what he's been doing this summer. I've, I noticed I'm just doing a lot of Christian-related activities this summer. Like, I went to the USA conference with my mom, and then that's when, when I saw Nathaniel Bassey and, like, singing and stuff, it really, like, his music really just resonated with me. So I've, ever since then, I've just been blasting his music in the car. And the gym, wherever I go, I'm just blasting Nathaniel Bassey. I'm telling everybody about it. But, yeah, so I liked that conference. And then after that, um, I had my cousin told me about Inspire Sports Camps. And it's like we have to go be the counselors to younger kids who grow, grew up in, like, rough parts of, like, New York and rough parts of New Jersey and all that. And we have to preach the gospel to them and help them, like, grow with Jesus so from after the week of camp all of my there's like this bell that people the kids will ring like the born again bell if they want to get born again and they feel like God is their savior and they want to just admit Jesus Christ to be their Lord and Savior all of my kids was just one by one ringing the bell ringing the bell ringing the bell so I just thank God for them all being born again and then now, my mom said, oh, there's a youth conference in Maryland. You must go. I said, okay, I'm going to this one again. So now after the camp, literally two days after, I'm here now. So I'm like, I had to pack my stuff in two days and then come here. And, and this youth conference has changed me because, I don't know, seeing everybody like worship and they don't, they don't care who is looking at them. They can twirl this way, twirl that way. I'm like, wow, these guys are really like... <laughs> on fire I'm like me I'm in the corner just like and then I'm just trying to like I don't know but I just thank God for everybody who's been like filled with the Holy Spirit and they're just they don't care who's looking at them they're just worshiping and I feel like I share like the same a similar experience to Bonnie when she came up when she said it was her turn to for God to call her up because when Bishop Robinson, after Bishop Robinson talked to the first boy, I just started crying. And then all of a sudden I hear, you are next. And then I'm like, and then he's like, you. And I said, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I said, oh, Jesus, I'm next. But I just thank God for that. Like, I thank God for using him to speak to me and tell me, like, answer my prayers. And I don't know. I just give all the glory to God that how this summer has just been... He's just been using different activities to just change me and have a different view on Christianity. It's not all strict and you just must pray and you must read this. It can be fun. It's not supposed to be, yeah, it can be fun. So I thank God for that. Wow. Hallelujah. 